वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज जय एंड आई ऑफ एंड मेक वीडियोज इन माई नेटिव लैंग्वेज मलयालम बट दिस वीडियो इज फॉर एवरी वन हू आर इन कैनडा तो सू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई फॉर वर्क टेम्पररी रेसिडेंट वीसा अदरवाइज कॉल एस विजिटर वीसा सो द फॉर्म इज आई एम एम फाइव टू फाइव सेवन ई सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट फिलिंग दिस इंफॉर्मेशन स्टार्टिंग विथ यूर पर्सनल डिटेल्स so make sure you do not do any spelling mistakes have you ever used any other name in my case no your place of birth as shown in your passport okay country of territory india citizenship indian so let's go to uh, question number 7 current country or territory of residence it's going to be canada so we are in canada that's why we going to fill this information and what is your status um uh, it depend upon uh, whether you are a worker or visitor and what is your validity of that work permit uh, or study permit if your study permit is ending next year you're going to fill those information in two column and when did your study permit started so previous country so territory of residence if you lived in any other country other than canada you should uh, fill those information here according to uh, uh, the dates in passport in my case it's no and uh, ninth question country or territory were applying it's same it's the same as country of residence in my case and your current marital status So let's go on to eleventh question. Have you previously been married? No. And uh, yeah, your native language. In my case, it's Malayalam. Are you able to communicate? Of course, of course, yes, English. And uh, have you taken a test from a designated testing agency? As yes, we have taken, right? IELTS, IELTS, or TOEFL, what was it? What's your and uh, next your passport information so i i advise everyone to uh, bring bring your passports during you fill this information because you might make any mistakes in your passport number or date of issue or date of expiry so let's start with filling this information here country of issue and issue date so i'm just putting some random dates here okay uh okay so next question most of the people have any uh, doubts here in national identity document yes it is uh, your aadhar card or your pan card So, do you have a national identity? Yes, and document number. It's going to be your other number or PAN card number. And country or territory of issue is going to be India. Yeah, and your issue is. And most of the people uh, previously asked asked some doubt uh, here on issue date and expiry date. So, uh, in this case of other card and PAN number. it does have an issue date but no expiry date so our aadhar card and pan card is um, valid on our lifetime so you just need to put your uh, issue date here that's enough okay so let's move to other questions usbr card no yes 
your contact information city scarbo country or territory canada and postal code residential address same as mailing address yeah make sure you give your canada number here i'm just putting a random number here and your email address so that's done so we're going to move to the next page details of visit to canada so what is your purpose of visit uh it depend upon uh, your case like are you a returning student are you a returning worker so whatever what's your case you can fill those information here and indicate how long you plan to stay in canada uh you can put your validity of your study permit date here so if your study permit is going to ex- uh, end up in next year put the information here otherwise uh, if you have a work permit yeah it must have an expiry date eh? so you going to fill those information here so funds available for my stay uh, in canada so basically uh, a 5000 card would be sufficient as far as i know if you have any doubt you can contact to uh, someone else who already applied but uh, i'm going to put 5000 card here and the next question name address and relationship of any persons or institution i will visit Uh, if you are a student you're going to put your college name here and the relationship to me is educational provider and if you are uh, if you are a worker you're going to put your company and relationship to me would be employer and their address okay so education have you had done any post secondary education yes and you have to fill those information here uh, from which uh, from which date your education started field of study for example it is supply chain or quality something something else and uh, uh, mostly it's going to be canada or india whatsoever according to your case and employment in these uh, forms you can give your um current employer and your previous en- employer you used to work in india also you can give so up to 3 employer you can provide here so uh now i'm going to move with the uh, background information within the past 2 year have you had any uh family member with tuberculosis no no mostly going to be no um remained will ever wait no and uh, have you previously applied to enter or remain canada is mostly if you are a student is going to be s yes because you already applied for a study permit right so um, you can say previously applied for a study permit or previously applied for extending my study permit or pre- previously applied for uh extending your work permit like that on date you have you can provide your date here here committed been arrested no did you serve in military no are you or having any 
പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ പാർട്ടി കണക്ഷൻസ് നോ ഇൽ ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് നോ സോ സോ നോ വി ആർ ഗോൺ പുട്ട് യുവർ സിഗ്നേച്ചർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ സെയിങ് ഡു യു കൺസെന്റ് ടു ബി കോൺടാക്ടഡ് ബൈ സി എ സി എസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗോൺ ബി എസ് ഗൈസ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഡൺ ആൻഡ് സിഗ്നേച്ചർ ഹിയർ യു ക്യാൻ പുട്ട് യുവർ ഫുൾ നെയിം അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു യുവർ പാസ്പോർട്ട് ഓക്കെ and the date uh, you are filling this information now is june 1st so that's it we are successfully completed uh, filling all those information now you have to click this validate here then only uh, you can able to see a barcode here so that's it you can save this file and you can upload now you can upload to your temporary visitor visa application so that's that's it guys if you have any doubt uh, make sure you uh, post in the comment section below so whenever i free i'll be able to clear them hopefully so that's it uh, thank you for watching and uh, one more advice for that um, make sure you do not um, have any mistakes here like uh, with expiry date of your passport something like that uh, it's a silly thing right and uh, any spelling mistakes also yes we know our name but usually we have uh, our uh, name initial expansion here uh, you probably going to make some mistakes here so make sure you don't you do not do and you, double, you do a double check on the information you filled everything before you put validate here so that is guys uh, that's it guys uh, we can see in next video thanks for watching if you like my video uh, please do subscribe and uh, please uh, do like if you have any other i think just post in comment section so bye for now